Let's install Google Chrome on Windows 11 and make it the default browser. To begin, open Microsoft Edge and in the search bar, type in Chrome. Hit return and go to the Get Google Chrome link. Now make sure that the URL is a Google URL. In this case, google.ca because I'm in Canada, it could be google.com for you or another variation, but make sure it's an official Google URL. Go ahead and click on the link and click on the download Chrome button. In Edge, downloads appear in the upper right, just below the download error arrow here. So we can click open file when that file has come in. Just wait a moment and the user account control prompt should ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes, say yes, so that installation can continue. Once you see that the install has continued, go ahead and close Edge so that it doesn't confuse. Sometimes installations go in behind the browser and you can't see the progress and it can be uh, you know, disconcerting. So the initial download is just a stub, right? Something to come in fast to get you started. Once you start the installation, Chrome will begin downloading its full package, which it has just completed, and the installation can then continue, which it is now doing. Shouldn't take very long on most systems. So we'll just give it a moment here to complete. And once that window disappears, wait for a bit, and here it is, the Chrome window should open. Now, Chrome immediately offers to allow you to sign in if you're already a Chrome user with a username, etc. Or if you want to get into the whole store your settings in the cloud bit, you can hit get started. But that's not necessary. You can just hit the plus at the top to open a new tab and you're in the regular default tab and you can close the other one. Right now, before you close Chrome, you might want to right click on your taskbar on the icon, the Chrome icon there and pin to taskbar. That way, when you do close Chrome, the Chrome icon will remain on your taskbar to make it easy to access, right? But conveniently, they do also place a icon on your desktop. Now let's make Chrome the default app. So click on your start button and type in the word default. And under best match, you should see default apps as the only or one of the options. Click on that and then scroll down until you see the Google Chrome entry. Click there and you'll see there's all these things that Chrome can open and become the default for. So there's four that are critical. The first one is the .htm. Right now it's Microsoft Edge. We'll click there. Microsoft wants to say, hey, stick with us, but say switch anyway. Choose Google Chrome from the list and click OK. HTML, you need to do the same thing. Choose Google Chrome, click OK. Now, if you don't have some uh, cool PDF viewer like Adobe Acrobat Reader, which is the probably the best default for you, um, you'll, and if you prefer Chrome over Edge, you'll want to also choose Google Chrome for PDF, right? That's not one of the four, but it's recommended. Now, the other critical ones are HTTP and HTTPS. So if you're in a reading an email, for example, and you click on a link, that's what's going to, this, this area is what determines which program is going to open those links. So we'll click here, choose Google Chrome. And again, oh, well, conveniently you did it for both of them. I guess Windows is smart enough to know that if it's one for one, it's got to be for the other. So uh, that covers the major defaults. There's all these other things that you can uh, think about, but that's the critical bit that you need to do. We can go ahead and close that and you're done.